All right, ladies and gentlemen, this week's artist spotlight is Nam Jun Paik. Paik was a Korean American artist. He created a large body of work, including video sculptures, installations, performances, videotapes, and television productions. He had a global presence and influence, and his innovative art and visionary ideas continue to inspire a new generation of artists. As he was growing up, he was trained as a classical pianist. In 1950, during the Korean War, Pike and his family fled from their home in Korea, first fleeing to Hong Kong, but later moving to Japan. Pike graduated with a BA in aesthetics from the University of Tokyo in 1956, where he wrote a thesis on the composer Arnold Schoenberg. Pike then moved to West Germany to study music history. Pake continued to incorporate music and collaborate with musicians throughout his whole career. His first major exhibit was titled Exposition of Music, Electronic Television. The exhibit was set up in someone's home and contained a number of dismantled, reprogrammed, and altered televisions, pianos, and other instruments arranged inside and outside of the home. Pake worked with video in a wide variety of ways. He would experiment with the video image, but he would also play with the vessel holding the screen, incorporating televisions and other devices into a variety of sculptures and installations. In this piece seen here, Paik built a cello out of television sets. On the screens were performances of different musicians playing music on a normal cello. The bow and strings for this cello did not play normal cello music, but instead produced loud electronic clashes and mechanic sounds. Paik did a series of robots made out of screens. He would also just create giant walls of television screens. Different sizes of screens would create interesting layers of negative space around the video screens. Here's his piece, Electronic Superhighway. He was actually the first person known to use that expression. In Paik's work, there was often this relationship of what was going on in the video and then how was that screen incorporated into a larger sculpture. This is a piece that was exhibited twice, once in 1974 and again at a retrospective of his work at the Guggenheim in 2007. Some of his work would also incorporate the video camera as playing a major role. Paik was a lifelong Buddhist Buddhist, and this piece was about achieving a high level of mindfulness. Oftentimes, Paik's work would be interactive. In some exhibits, visitors were asked to use magnets against the television sets because that would distort the image in unique ways. Paik would always embrace new technology and try to do something somewhat unpredictable with it. In this piece, Paik references the famous structure painted by Michelangelo but does so with moving pictures of current notable personalities like Janis Joplin and fellow artist Joseph Boys projected into onto a plain white architectural space. Pake was known as someone that thought a lot about the future. Through his career, he was known to predict several technological advancements that would later come into existence. This includes smartphones and the internet. In 1996, Paik had a stroke that paralyzed most of the left side of his body. This slowed him down a bit, but he still remained active as an artist until he passed away in 2006. He was 73 years old.